Welcome. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the exposure within the photo merge section. So first thing we need to do is select these three photos. So I'm going to select the first photo, control click the second photo, control click the third photo. Then press control I, shortcut to open up the Photoshop Elements Editor. This will open up Camera Raw because these are a raw file from the Nikon camera. I'm not going to adjust anything. I'm going to use the um, guided edits to take care of it. So I'm going to select all of them. And then I'm going to click Open Images, which will open it directly into the Photoshop Elements Editor. And as we can see here, this photo, normal. This photo, underexposed, overexposed. So now I'm going to click on Guided, and I'm going to go to Exposure. It's going to ask us to select between 2 to 10 photos. And once it's done that, it's going to combine all three photos together into a final image. It's going to give me an automatic or a manual setting here. I'm automatic. You have a choice between the simple blending. Let's choose this and see what happens. This is a simple blending. Nice, not that bad. Probably the sunflower, the red here is a little bit too red. But um, uh, it also gives you a choice of smart blending. So you can affect the highlight details. So let's increase the details on the highlights. Maybe I need to click on the zoom tool, zoom in a little so we can see it better. Wow, that actually looks better decreasing the highlights. Okay, and let's darken the shadows and see what happens. No, because see, you see some banding over here on the sides. So that's not good. So let me just decrease that a little. Still see it. I think the saturation could be a little bit less. Okay, there we go. I'm going to select the hand tool, move the photo up. Looks nice. If I wanted to, oh, let me see here, sorry. I can reset it. And if I wanted to, I can go over to the manual side here. And you can draw a selection around which photo you want to include in the background, as I've described in the previous lessons of how to use the selection tool eraser tool. And you also have the advanced option to align your photos, as I've talked about in the previous lessons. So let me scroll back up here, click on Automatic, click Done. And it's going to create my Photo Merge Exposure Output image. And this is the final output. So let me put here Fill Screen. Okay, let me select the Hand Tool. Nice, nice, not bad. Of course, it can. It needs a little bit of sharpening, and there's a little bit of banding I'm gonna have to take care of, and some more banding over there. Overall, not too bad, not too bad. 